name's Maria Dingle and I'm Senior Lecturer in Biological Sciences in the School of Community and Health Sciences. What I think students seem to value is, is, is the fact that I spend, once I've done a lecture, um, I allow time for them to come down and speak to me at the end and ask individual questions. Because I always, I always ask if anybody's got any questions you know, in the lecture theatre, but because we do such a lot of lectures, um, I think sometimes students feel a bit awed by that and they don't always like to ask questions in the big group just in case it sounds like a stupid question. Of course I always say no question is ever a stupid question. Um, and so they cut, you know, I often, I mean today I had a queue of students, probably about 10 students and it felt like a bit like a GP surgery because I sat there and said right who's next? You know, and wait, and they came to speak to me and asked me the questions they'd got um, in relation to the, to the lectures I'd done that morning. Um, and so I think they like that. Um, also what I teach can be quite complicated. Biological sciences is not easy. We don't ask students who come onto this programme to actually have any qualification in biology whatsoever. So consequently, a lot of students come to the programme and may be coming across some of the things we teach them for the first time ever. Um, and I think what some of the students like is I try to make the subject easy, um, try and make some difficult concepts as simple as possible, um, and I try to do it using simple language. I mean, I introduce them to the terminology that they need to know, but I also try and use terminology that they may be more familiar with, just so that they can begin to grasp at least part of the concept, if not all of it. Um, so I think I, that, they're the sort of things I try and do. Um, and I, th I like to think I'm an approachable person, which is why I think they, you know, they feel quite happy coming to ask me questions. Mm. You know, even if they think it's a stupid question. I had one this morning, he says, I think this might be a really stupid question, but, and I went, no, it's not a stupid question at all, because it wasn't, you know. But, uh, yeah, yeah. So I, they're the sort of things I think that um, they might like, actually, mm. in terms of what I do. I th well, I hope that it actually makes them uh, perhaps more comfortable with the topic, because as I said, some of them have really not done the biology before. Um, and, you know, I, I feel that my aim really is to, get, is to get them to like the topic, because it's so important for them as nurses. You know, and I stress um, again and again that actually if they can, get, they can get sort of grips with what they do this year, you know, particularly the first years, then that will really help them when they get into their second year. And, do you know what I mean? And this is a foundation, and um, so yeah, I mean, that's, well, that's what I hope I achieve anyway. <laughs> I think one of the things I've always tried to do with any teaching I do with students is go in being as prepared as possible, but also acknowledging that actually I'm likely to be asked questions I don't know the answer to, but being prepared to say, I have no idea, yeah, I don't know, uh, but maybe discuss it and say to the students, can we think through this? Sometimes with biology you can work things out, you know, so you might not directly know the answer, but you think you can think to yourself, actually, if I think about it, I can work out the answer. And do that process with the students. I think sometimes people ex seem to think that as a lecturer you're supposed to know all the answers. Well, you don't. And I think it's good for the students to realise that. I suppose gauging the level of knowledge of a group as well, so trying to work out what you're dealing with, um, and I guess, for me, I generally know that when I go into a group that I'm going to be dealing with some people who really have got very little biology background, but others who may even have some sort of related degree in the topic and then getting the balance right in terms of what you're teaching, that can be so tricky. And you know that some people are going to be a bit bored by bits of what you do, but maybe really challenged by other bits of what you do. So that can be quite quite difficult but I think I think for me it's being prepared and being prepared to say I don't know I think there's sort of a couple of key things really I suppose over the years that I've been here I've had a number of different roles I have been a program director 
Um, I see students in other environments out in clinical practice um, and maybe those experiences give me quite a, you know, a depth and breadth of knowledge about their program and so um, they can stop me in the corridor you know, so oh, Maria, can I just ask you something? More than happy to do that. Do you know what I mean? Um, or they'll just knock on the door, or just turn up at my door, and they'll go, Maria, have you got a minute? You know, and if I've got time, yes, I'll see them. Um, but I think some of the roles I've had over the years has given me quite a, you know, quite a range of knowledge about a range of different things. And, and so I think they feel they can ask me questions about lots of different things and not just biology. I think one of the things I'd just like to add at the end is to thank whoever it was that did nominate me because I think for me, when I got the letter, I was like, oh well, you know, I feel as though actually all the years I've spent teaching, I feel that I'm now doing something right or I must be doing something right. And I think it's a really good award because I think there isn't always much recognition of uh, particularly what lecturers do in terms of teaching. Um, and for me, that's why I came into this role to teach. That's one of the things I love doing is actually going into the classroom and, um, you know, spending that time with the students, um, trying to, you know, get, help them understand things. Um, and so for me, it was really, it's really nice. So just a big thank you to whoever nominated me, actually.